Smart home devices are everywhere, and the list of useful things they can do is getting harder and harder to resist. But security and privacy are still on people's minds. It seems like every week there's news of a scary sounding hack, exploit, or security vulnerability in a popular smart home device. Major brands like Amazon and Nest have been the subject of headlines that make you wonder why anyone should trust a smart home device. Is it true that the average consumer is insane for buying this stuff, or are the risks simply overblown? The sphere of smart home is getting pretty expansive. There are doorbell cameras, smart bulbs, smart speakers, thermostats, security cameras, outlets, door locks, light switches. And those are just the useful ones. Smart diapers, smart egg trays. Smart egg trays. Do you want me to be calm? Sorry. Uh, sure, yeah, there is a risk in using smart home devices. That's John Chase, an editor who covers smart home gear. John and the rest of the Wirecutter team have tested and researched dozens of smart home devices over the years. But it's worth keeping it in perspective. By definition, taking any devices and connecting them up to the internet is making yourself more susceptible to certain types of risks. But I think there's a lot of paranoia around smart home that isn't necessarily warranted. When you see a news story about a popular smart home brand and invasions of privacy, there are a few different buckets these events actually fall into. One is individual people being hacked by an individual criminal. Sure, it does happen, but most of the time it happens as a result of bad password management. Or in some cases, you'll read stories of people getting hacked, but it happens to be an expert has been hired uh, specifically for that purpose to break into someone's system. In practical terms, it's incredibly difficult for a garden variety criminal to break into your smart home device or smart home network and to actually do any damage. The next type is company-wide breaches. This is when a manufacturer's network is compromised, usually through a loophole or exploit in their software. When a company's network is breached, it can affect millions and millions and millions of people. The scale is really enormous. In sweeping in personal data from the people's customers and their accounts, but also their password combination. This, it turns out, is actually a real problem. Uh, people tend to reuse their passwords over and over again for lots of different services. And so now once a hacker has your login information for one site, there's a pretty good chance they'll be able to use it on other sites as well. The last category of security threats are when companies actually misuse the information you store on their network. This is what the recent story about Ring doorbells was all about. It wasn't a hack. It was the company itself giving employees access to customers' video recordings. Some brands have terms of service and privacy policies that are way more expansive than you might anticipate. People don't read the fine print before buying and installing these products, and the result is companies have your personal data and they can use it any way they feel like. One of the key takeaways from all these scenarios is that there are certain things you can control to keep yourself safe, and there are certain things that you can't. If you follow a few simple best practices, you significantly narrow your exposure to risk. Uh, the most important thing have good passwords. Make sure you use different ones for every service and site you visit. That's really, really difficult to do to have unique passwords, so we really recommend using a password manager. On top of that, you can use two-factor authentication, which is a way of confirming that anytime someone logs into your service, it's actually you. And then, as always with any device, make sure you do the software updates. You may notice that these tips are some of the same ones you hear applied to anything you do on the internet, whether it's online banking or signing up for a new service. Good habits that keep your online self secure Secure will also keep your smart home gear secure in most cases. What's left are the factors outside of your control. The fact is you can't control wh whether a company's gonna be hacked or what their privacy policies and security policies are. The main thing you can do when buying smart home devices is look for companies that have your reputation, that they're well known, that they're a solid brand. Another factor is deciding the best way to use a smart home device. Be prudent. You don't have to have an internet connected camera pointing at your crib. Same thing with other smart home devices. Be selective. In the end, when when you make a decision regarding smart home gear, it comes down to balancing your own sense of caution with the value you're getting out of your device. Nobody can make those decisions for you, but what real world experience tells us is that you shouldn't freak out after reading some scary headlines. And as long as you make sure you're on top of the essentials, like password management, you can minimize the risks and enjoy the many fruits of the modern smart home. I have nothing. I have nothing. I have. A, I have an. I have, a, I have a, an Alexa show, but um, no, not the show. The spot. The dot. That's not nothing. That's, not nothing. That's true. Does it have a camera on it? Huh? It does. It does have a camera on it. <laughs> <laughs>